The new necromancy stuff they've added in the Skyrim anniversary content is pretty decent. I'm going to show you something else tied to it, where you can have your own necromancy little home. Gallo Hall isn't as upgradable as some of the other homes, but effectively will give the opportunity to get more necromancy based followers. On top of that, you get the Staff of Worms, which allows you to summon or reanimate a dead body, and this is all on top of your normal summons that you can have. Plus two decent little new helms. Just southwest of Windhelm, you should find Mara's Eye Pond. I'm just showing some locations around it next to Gallows Rock. This quest is called Dreams of the Dead, and you're meant to find it by reading Nara's journal, which is in a fort at the edge on the northern side of Mara's Pond. But I didn't bother with that quest, I found this on my own. Inside you'll find some dead bodies of mages, and pretty much you can have this place as your own. You can't upgrade it, but it's still a decent little area to especially do necromancy. Read all the notes and it pretty much will tell you you're now trapped inside this house until you solve a series of puzzles and you've got a bunch of ghosts and poltergeists flying around. You'll see loads of things just mooching about, so yeah, let's solve this before you get scared out of your wits. There's a map and a note on a table in front of you and it's pretty much going to tell you which of the torches to extinguish. So first extinguish the Morphal torch, then you need to find the Falkreath then you need to go and find the Nightingale Torch. And then finally the Fort Dunstard Torch. That will stop the ghosts from running around and colour will now return. You'll pick up the Staff of Worms and now you need to reanimate one of the skeletons inside a coffin. Grab the Arch Necromancer key from him. And inside the safe you'll find the second clue. Which pretty much wants you to go and find a bunch of greater soul stones or soul gems. Also in the safe is the Blood Worm Helm, which reduced the Conjuration spell cost by 25% and it will increase the Undead damage by 25% too. Now before you can actually find the gems, you are going to need to actually have a sleep and this will start a dream state. I don't think you can find these gems until you go into this dream state. One of them is in the skeleton in the coffin. The second should be in a coffin on the ground level. And the third should be in another coffin. I do believe I picked up one of these when it was inside the safe or close by. So now all we've got to do is read the note, remove it and place these gems in the gem holders. Activate the altar of the revenant and it will complete this next sequence. And we're on the third final part where you can now go and summon one of a creature if you've got the right ingredients. If you head all the way downstairs, there won't be any enemies, you'll find this. This is the summoner where you need to place either frost salts, a greater soul gem, bone meal, a Nord Ancient Helm or some Soul Husk and if you do it in the right combination you'll get a different undead creature. You should find another helm, the Orion Bear Claw which is going to regenerate your stamina and give you an extra 70 points. Some of the ingredients like the bone meal you'll be able to find and greater soul gems in this place but there's a few ingredients that you may have actually have to have started the Dawnstar questline to get, which is pretty much soul husk, unless you can find someone to sell it to you at an apocryphy. If you use bone meal, a soul gem and the frost salts, you'll get yourself a new skeletal archer. He's Mr. Bone Man if you're not friends with him. And then if you place the greater soul gem, the ancient Nord helmet, as well as the frost salt, bone meal, as well as the soul husk, and then you'll summon instead this guy, Mr. Rathman. I tried a bunch of different combinations. If you mix just the bone meal and a soul gem, you'll get just a regular skeleton. But when I tried like the soul husk and just maybe some bone meal, I didn't get anything at all. If you use soul husk, bone meal and just a soul stone, you'll also get a spectral skeleton like this guy. I'm pretty sure this stuff is all part of the Dawnguard DLC, so you may have had an experience with this if you completed it. And that's pretty much it for the combinations that I could find. I tried mixing a Nord Helmet, the Frost Salts and a Soul Stone, but it didn't actually spawn in anything on this occasion. And I tried a bunch more different combinations and it didn't do anything either. So if there's a recipe there I missed or a combination, do let me know. It's the only ingredients you do need for this, you won't need anything else. And as I said, I do believe you get the soul husk from the soul cairn, which you can only get access to by completing the Dawn Guard quest line. So effectively, this means this counts as one particular summon. Then you could go ahead and summon at least two of your ghostly ones. We're not 100% sure whether or not it will let you have another two on top of the one that you've already got. But you certainly should be able to summon at least one more spectral one yourself. 
And if you combine this with the Bitter Cup, which is a new quest line where you get a permanent follower as well, then yeah, you can have three different followers with you. Not to mention, obviously, the staff itself, where you can summon a dead skeleton or body to come fight for you too. And that is pretty much it. You do get that brand new staff, the two new helms, and this little home to mess around and do some proper necromancy stuff. Go ahead and watch the guide I've done on necromancy, showing you how to get the majority of the spells and new necromancy robes. And that will also increase how many of these guys you can have and what kind of damage output they'll do. And look out for the Bitter Cup guide, which is incoming at the same time as this, more or less, which will show you how to get another follower once you've found a mysterious altar. Hope this has been helpful alongside the rest of my guides, and I'll see you at bag soon.